Uh, hi, I'm here with Sarah James. She's also on Live Below the Line this week and is with Oak Tree. How are you finding Live Below the Line? Um, well, it's not the first time I've done it, so I guess I sort of knew what to expect. But um, the hardest thing for me is definitely the lack of choice. I'm getting a little bit sick of porridge and <laughs> rice and just pasta with soup stock on it. Right. So, uh, and what prompted you to do Live Below the Line? Um, well, I'm really passionate about people. So mm -hmm. for me, it was just partly... I do it to get an understanding of what it's actually like not to have that choice um, and you know just to have to live on less than two dollars a day I know it's not a really realistic representation but just to get that small understanding and then raise some money for a really good cause at the same time. Yes it's interesting what the programs are where the money goes to about yeah. mainly education from what I could see it looked really good. Yeah um, so the, pro the money goes to um, education projects in Cambodia and Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Um, the one in Cambodia in particular has had huge success because um, it's looking at a really sustainable schooling system so mm. not just things like building a school it's making sure that the school teachers are really capable that students can then afford to attend the school and that it can then sort of move in the long term, not just a short term focus project. Right. So I think probably both of us would encourage more people to yes, join Below definitely. the Line. Yeah, yeah. It's a great great way to raise money and to get yeah. the message out. Thank you very much. Thank you.